Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new, please do subscribe our channel. Press the subscribe button. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use cam follower mechanical mate and slot mechanical mate in SolidWorks assembly. So, watch the complete video to understand the concept of mechanical mates, cam follower, and slot. So, first of all, we will go to assembly. So first of all, we will assemble the cam and follower parts and then we will apply the cam follower mate. So for that, so we will go to the cam and follower folder and from here first of all we are going to add cam shop. Select OK. So our camshaft has been inserted. Now we are going to insert our cam body. Select OK. So this is this component is fixed. We have to make it float. Now what we will do is we are going to make it concentric. And we are going to add width mate. These advanced mate I have explained in the previous video. I will provide the link in the description. You can watch it from there. So width mate has been applied. Now you can see it will move in the center. Now we have to add part cam base. And now we will make some coincident mates between the plane of this camshaft and this base. Select right plane from here. Go to cam base and select that pin from here and make consider select ok again select front plane and from here select front plane and make them consider so now you can see that it is in the center like this now we will add the part cam piston which will follow the path of our cam Select OK. Make these two coincident or concentric like this. Drag it upward. So after making these two concentric, we will add, we will make their plane coincident. For that, we will go to mate and we will select the right plane of this camshaft and the front plane of this can piston select ok so now you can see that it is in the direction of this cam follower now we will add the cam follower we will go to mate we will go to mechanical mate we will go to cam follower and first of all we will select the path so you can see that this is the path we want to follow so i have selected the path and now this is our cam follower you can see that it is showing that this is the cam follower. Select OK. Select OK. And now, if you will move this cam, it will follow the cam path like this. So, this was our cam mate in the mechanical mate. Now, we will see what is the slot mate. So we will close it, go to a new assembly, for slot mate we are going to use for the off mechanism, first of all we will open the base plate, 
like this and we will insert the component that one which is our wheel so our wheel has been adjusted now we will add the slot which is this one so our slot has also been applied now what we will do is that we can see this slot is moving separately and this pulley is moving separate, separately so we want to move this slot with respect to this pulley and this box extrude feature so what we will do is we will go to make and in the mechanical mate we will select slot so now what we will do is we will select the slot path as you can see this is our slot path and this cylinder is our slot follower so this is our constraint so i will i will tell you what are these constraints first of all let's see what slot to so now you can see that this boss extrude feature is moving in the slot and our scotch yoke mechanism is ready so now we will see what are the other constraints in the slot the other constraint is center in slot so you can see that the it has been automatically adjusted in the center of the slot and now it will not move like this now you can see it is fully defined like this if you want distance from here you can adjust the distance like this or if you want the percentage you can select the percentage from here select okay so now you can see the red line showing that the percentage from here to here is this so this was our simple tutorial on mechanical mates of cam follower and slot thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our video